Hi guys, this is Algebra Day 4. We are going to be talking about um, order of operations today, which you may have heard me refer to as PEMDAS, and maybe heard that in past years. Alright, but first, let's review a little bit. We have four problems at the top of your notes, and I would like you to pause the video right now, please, and go ahead and do those four problems, and then come back and check your work. All right, hopefully you had a chance to complete all those. So your job was to find the value of each of these expressions when m equals 4. So for the first one, we have 21 minus m, so we're going to substitute in 4. It becomes 21 minus 4, and when we find the answer, it's 17. For the second problem you had, m plus 25. If we substitute in 4, we get 4 plus 25, and of course the answer is 29. I want to remind you right now that these substitution problems re require three lines of work. So make sure that you're rewriting the problem, that you're rewriting the substitution line, and that you're writing down the answer. All right, let's check the last two. I'm going to write these ones. So we have 3m. Let's substitute in 4 for m, and then we solve it. We get 12. Now we have m divided by 16. Remember, we're gonna, so we're going to substitute in 4. So now we have 4 divided by 16. And remember, when we use the fraction bar or the slash, we are reading our division problem from top to bottom. So I read it like m divided by 16. So I substitute in 4, and now I have 4 divided by 16. The answer is not 4, because that would be 16 divided by 4. That is not what we are finding here. We are finding 4 divided by 16, and if we reduce that fraction, we get 1 fourth. So just a little reminder, you guys, because we, ta we talked about this the other day, but when we are finding an equivalent fraction, we either multiply or divide by 1. And what I'm doing is I'm dividing by the greatest common factor, which of course is 4, and then that equals 1 fourth. We divide the numerators and we divide the denominators. Okay, let's talk about PEMDAS. So PEMDAS is a mnemonic device for helping us to remember the order of operations that we will follow when solving problems. So PEMDAS, one way you can remember it is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Go ahead and pause the video and write that on the first PEMDAS that you have on your paper. Okay, now obviously we're not talking about Aunt Sally when we actually do math, so let's figure out what that acrostic actually stands for. The P stands for parentheses. The E is going to stand for exponents. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. What this tells us, what this gives us is an, what it sounds like, it's an, it's an order for operations. So what that means is that when we have a problem to solve, we are first going to look for parentheses, and we're going to solve those first. And then we're going to look for exponents, we'll solve those next. Then we're going to look for multiplication and division, and I'm going to talk about how to figure out which one to solve first in just a moment. Then we're going to look for addition and subtraction, and I'll, the same thing, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Okay, so multiplication and division are on the same line in our PEMDAS, aren't they? That's why we, we have that, we have M and then D over to the right of it. So the reason for that is because they're, they're weighted the same in order of operations. So if we have multiplication and division in the same problem, we're just going to work from left to right. We're going to start with the multiplication or division problem that is first in the problem. So on your paper, I want you to write, do the operation of whichever comes first in the equation. And it's the same thing, oh, whoops, I have, a, I have those switched around, don't I? So you have addition and subtraction first, and I just talked about multiplication and division. Sorry about that. But the rule is the same for addition and subtraction, multiplication and division. So we're going to look for multiplication and division first, and we'll do the operation for whichever comes first in the equation. 
Then we look for addition and subtraction, and we do the same thing. We do whichever comes first, left to right. Go ahead and make sure you have those in your notes, please. All right, let's do some examples. Go ahead and do these with me and make sure that you copy down everything that I write or that you see up on your screen. So in this problem, we have 5 plus 6 divided by 3 plus 2. So first we have to look for parentheses. Well, we, we don't have any, so we're not going to worry about that. Then we look for exponents. We don't have any of those either. Then we look for multiplication and division. We have both. We have a division problem and a multiplication problem. So we're going to start with the division, and we're going to divide 6 by 3, which is 2. Now let's rewrite our problem. So now we have 5 plus 2 times 2. And we still have a multiplication problem there, so we have to solve that before we add the 5. So 2 plus 2 is 4. Now we have 5 plus 4, and we have x equals 9. All right, let's do this next problem. We have x equals 10 times 3 plus 5 minus 2. So we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents, but we do have multiplication. So we need to solve the multiplication problem first. So x equals 10 times 3, which is 30, plus 5 minus 2. Now we can solve for the addition from left to right. So 30 plus 5 equals 35 minus 2. And our answer is going to be 33. All right, so now we have um, a whole bunch of problems. All right, let's start with looking for parentheses or exponents. We don't have either. So let's move on to multiplication and division. We have both. We have a multiplication problem and we have a division problem. So we're going to start on the left, and then we're going to work right. So we're going to start with 4 times 6, which is 24. write out the rest of the problem. And then step two, now I've got a division problem. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. And now I just have addition and subtraction. So we'll work from left to right. And we have 3 plus 32, which equals 35. Now I have 35 minus 12, which equals 23. Okay, why don't you give this one a try? So pause the video before you come back and look at the answer. Okay, let's go through this one. So we've got, um, we don't have parentheses, we don't have exponents. So let's look for multiplication or division. And work from left to right. So we have 24 divided by 12, which is 2. Oops, I should have a little dot there. Times 7 minus 26. We just write out the rest of our problem. Now let's do the multiplication problem. So 2 times 7, which is 14, and then minus 26. Now I've got 76 plus 14 minus 26. So I'm just going to work from left to right. 76 plus 14 is 90 minus 26, and 90 minus 26 is going to be 64. You know, I'm going really fast through some of this mental math, so let's just take a minute and I'm going to show you how I got there. But in my head, I just did 90 minus 30, which I knew was 60, and then added um, 4 back in because I was 4 less than 30. So 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus to, wait, what did I just do wrong? There we go. That's what I did wrong. I wrote the wrong number. 8 minus 2 is 6, so 64. Okay, so someone asked today, why do we bother with this? Like, can we just solve it any which way? And we, you know, we tried it to see if that would work. If, if ignoring the rules of order op of operation 
um, would work to get the same answer. And so I would encourage you to go ahead and, and pause the video and try that and see if you come up with the same answer. I won't tell you if you will or won't, but I think you'll see why it's important that we do have rules for order of operation. All right, let's try this one now together. So we're going to look for parentheses and exponents first. And look at this. We finally have some parentheses to work with. Not only do we have parentheses, but we have a m subtraction and a multiplication problem within the parentheses. So now we know we need to solve these first, or solve what's in here first because it's in parentheses. So we need to decide, do we solve 28 minus 2 first or 2 times 8? Well, according to PEMDAS, we should solve 2 times 8 first. So let's do that. Let's solve that. We get 16 and write out the rest of our problem. And now we still have one more problem to solve within the parentheses, 28 minus 16. So let's solve that. 28 minus 16 is going to be 12. Now we have division problems, and we're going to work from left to right. So let's do 36 divided by 12 first. Well, that's 3. And now we just have 3 divided by 3, and we can finish off our problem. Our answer is 1. All right, more parentheses. Let's solve within the parentheses first. So since we have another subtraction and division problem, we're going to solve the division first. So 45 divided by 9 is 5. And then we'll finish writing off out the rest of our problem. And we now need to still solve the rest of that parentheses problem. So 5 minus 5 is 0. And write the rest of our problem. Now we can take away the parentheses. We're done with them. So it's really x equals 13 times 0 plus 18. Okay, now right here, there's a temptation to just take away that 0 because I see the 0 plus 18, and I think, well, that just equals 18. And if it weren't for order of operations, we could do that. But we know we need to solve this multiplication problem first. So 13 times 0 is 0. Now I have 0 plus 18, and my answer is 18. Okay, so on to the fun stuff. Now we've got some word problems. So we want to write an algebraic expression for this problem. Nathan had five bags of marbles with ten marbles in each bag. He added three marbles to each bag. How many marbles does he have now? So all that's happening here is Nathan has some bags of marbles, right? They've got ten marbles in each of the bags. Or he's got ten, I should say. And he's going to add three marbles to each bag, right? So we just want to write an expression for that. How, we, how would we find out the answer to that? What's an algebraic expression that we could write? Well, that's easy enough. Um, we would do 5 times 10 plus 3. Let me just go back that to that other slide. So we've got... 5 times the bags, right? And inside the bags, we have 10 plus 3 because Nathan added 3 marbles to each bag. So here's my, here's my uh, groups of 10 that we're adding 3 to, and we're going to multiply it by 5. So we could write that a couple different ways. We could write the 5 and then the times dot and then 10 plus 3. But in algebra, we can just we can even just get rid of that dot and write it as 5 times 10 plus 3 and just put the 5 next to the per, next to the parentheses how cool is that so if we go through and solve that we get 5 times we would solve in the parentheses first 13 and that would equal 65 marbles okay my friends we're going to stop there and um, continue this in a separate video your homework for tonight or for today was the order of operations worksheet was labeled 1 2, and you were supposed to do the evens. Have a good evening.